back here somewhere. Okay, they're reacting to that. The other thing you can see here is look around your lashes. See the circles of whiteness? Mm -hmm. That's the power. It means there's edema there. You can see the edema. You can see little areas that are swollen right. all along here. So pallor and edema all along your lash line because they've been inflamed for decades. Mm -hmm. Decades. Let's see what else. Okay, there, just like you get pallor around the base of the lash, you also get pallor around where the neck of the malbumin gland comes to the surface because that gland's inflamed. Mm -hmm. And you can tell when you see pallor around the opening, where the opening of the malbumin gland should be. See these little whitish patches on here? Here's a dome right here. Mm -hmm. But then you get these little white circles here. And I call these little white circles uh, target signs, okay? Mm -hmm. They've just, just been identified just in the past few months that we get these target signs. Now, the reason it's called a, a, I call it a target sign is because you'll get the generalized white disc. Mm -hmm. Then inside of that, you'll get a little brownish colored ring. Now, it's subtle, but for instance, right here. See the little bit of a brown color there? Mm -hmm. It's hard to see, but it's a white here, a little brownish mm -hmm. ring here. That's the duct coming from the gland. And then look right in the center of it. See the little white dot? Mm -hmm. it's, Not without the glasses. It's, it's uh, <laughs> There's a little white dot there. That's the plug of mybofilm right here, okay? Okay. So it's like a, that's the bullseye. And then you got a ring and you got a ring here. There's one here. There's another one right down here that's sort of evident not focused perfect but those little white circles around your glands that shows that they've been inflamed also for a long time it's power mm -hmm. leakage from, from dilated vessels all right well, let's keep going oh, and one other thing you've got this big band of red down here under your lashes mm -hmm. you'll see it also on your upper lid maybe if you've closed one eye you've looked at that lid, oh, yeah. big red uh -huh. band there all right i call that the scarlet linear scarlet linear we get that because the tissue just inside that skin mm -hmm. is that little lash follicle that's been inflamed for decades. So mm -hmm. if this gets inflamed for decades, eventually the skin right in front of it gets inflamed. Okay. And if your mybomian gland is inflamed for decades, you'll get inflammation of the conjunctival right back here. Okay. On the back part of the eye. Right. We'll look at that here in a second. That's why it looks like I've got sh uh, lash uh, shadow on. Uh, you get that kind of a violaceous uh, yeah. reddish hue under the, the stage. Lashes. I mean, there's, yep. it's it's chronic inflammation. Yeah, just with this okay. right here, chronic inflammation. You can see it right behind here is your lash follicles. Yeah, too blurry. This shows pretty much the same picture. You got see the whole lash line is just powerless. It's pale. Uh -huh. It's kind of this translucent appearance to it, going all down through there. Right. Okay. All right. I'm going to move along a little bit. Here's a target sign here. There's one there. The edema is pretty evident. Look how swollen these follicles are. Mm -hmm. Here's the injection inside the conjunctiva here. Mm -hmm. Because your mybomian glands are right behind all that injected tissue. It's injected, it's hot because your mybomian glands are hot. Yeah. Another target sign there and there. Look at that band of redness down here. See how red that is? That's just all inflammation. This is, I've really got this lid pulled over now, so what we're looking at is the lid pulled over like this. Uh -huh, right. All right. And look how injected that is. Now this is the upper lid. The target signs are easier to see up here. Again, that's evidence that your mybomian glands are inflamed. There's a target sign here, here, here. They look like little targets. Many times mm -hmm. you see the bullseye. I don't right. see it on any of those. There's kind of one right here with the little bullseye in it. There's one right there. So there's a bullseye right there. If you can see a white dot surrounded by a brown ring, but surrounded by this white disc. There and there. A classic target size. I'll take your word for it. Same I thing. Can't see it. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> Same thing. Look at the edema here. Uh -huh. Look at the red band up here. Oh, yeah. Red hot. Those follicles have just been getting beat up for decades, but they're hanging on. You haven't lost any of your lashes yet. No. But eventually these could fall out. Same thing there. All right, this is the important part here. This is what's going to show me your mybomian glands, okay? Okay. Now, I thought 
just sitting down. And you're 71 now? Four. 74. And you've never worn contacts, right? Or have you worn contacts? No. Never have worn contacts. No. Okay. Well, I thought at 74, especially with some notching I saw in your exam, notching of the limb margin, it was kind of irregular. I thought for sure we were going to have a lot of myeloma disease. Well, they replaced that. them when they did the. the uh, the cataract? Cataracts, yeah. they, he, the lens, he replaced the right, lens. Right, that's yeah. inside the eye. Nothing to do with what we're doing Nothing. today. Okay, no. great. Okay. When I examine your lid margin, I can look for little divots in the lid margin where it kind of divots down like the mm -hmm. scalp there. Whenever I see that, that means you've lost some meibomian glands because meibomian gland atrophies and shrinks up mm -hmm. when it fibrosis and pulls down the lid margin. You've got some of that. I oh. thought, oh boy, I thought we might be in trouble. But actually, I was pleasantly surprised with how many meibomian glands you still have that look very functional. Now, I'll show you. See, by taking a video here, I can kind of stop it where I, where I don't have that glare and we can get a look at it. So, meibomian glands are these little white glands that sort of light up with the infrared light. So, just for starters, here's the glands here, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, they come up behind this glare, so they're longer than that. You see how long these come up? Uh -huh. Okay. They're all, I think, they're all that long there. And you've got a fair number of glands. Mm -hmm. You've got a good number, and you've got good length. And you see that granularity? It almost looks like a little pop. I call it popcorning. Uh -huh. See a little granularity to yeah. it? That means you've got little individual oil-making sacs on this gland structure. So that's all the good stuff. You've got granularity. You've got volume. You've got length. You've got a good number of them. Now, they're damaged, all right? These glands should come way back to here. Mm -hmm. But they're about half the length they should be. This is half the length. There's a nub right there. That's maybe, you know, a fourth of what it should be or less. Ghost gland there. So this one's completely atrophied. That's probably caused the notching I saw. No gland there. It's missing. There's a remnant of a gland here. So I'm not saying, you know, it's all, you know, blue sky and roses here. There's some significant damage, but I'm, I'm happy with what I'm seeing as far as the volume I've got to work with. Okay. All right. <clears throat> but this gland's pretty much dead. There's one that's completely died there. So you'll get these remnants of glands. This is probably a ghost gland here. You don't see that granularity in these two like you do in these. So mm -hmm. that means they've probably lost their little gland making sacs and they may or may not give up the ghost down the road. But let's see if I can zoom a little better. But that's pretty much your volume right here. These glands here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight glands there. That's decent. I can work with eight glands. Okay. We, we, we're born with way more glands than we need, fortunately. In life. Yeah. <laughs> we're born with more than we need, so we can lose some and still end up with a normal oil layer. Maybe that's why we're born with more than we need. I, I think exactly that's what it is. Because for millions mm -hmm. of years, we've had biofilm growing on our lips. Yeah. Back when, in the days of living in caves, they got blepharitis and lost their tears as well, just right. like we do today. Right. So more oiled glands, you have better vision for longer. Right? right. You can survive. In fact, tiger jumps out at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look at all this tear, all this gland volume. And again, they're all short. They're all half oh, as long as they should be. But look how many I got. Uh huh. All right. Okay. So I got a good equivalent number of oh. tear glands there. Let me show you what right. normal looks like. Okay. So you have an idea of what I'd like okay. it to look like. Now this is an entirely normal. What I, with what I do fixing disease my bone glands, I haven't seen a single patient with normal glands because okay. I'm getting all the right. worst of the worst. But let me show you the most normal one I have. You hold this so you can look at yours. And I'm going to show you this one, okay? Now, you see a difference there? Yeah, it was. It was on there. Can you see that okay? I, I, Am I holding it not right? Well, it's the light glare from okay. the... Yeah, I see it. Olivia, can you turn the lights off, please? Okay. So, there's a bunch of glands here, good number of glands, and good length. Look how long they are. Oh, so, yeah. All good and long. They all have granularity. Now, this particular patient does have some damage, significant damage to one of her glands. Well, all of them have a little bit of damage. All of them are a little bit thin. They're just a little distorted. They're not big and full. This one's pretty good. Yeah, you can tell it's a little tight, right? Look at this gland right here, though. This gland is going to split out its base right here. This top part splitting off from the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's what inflammation does. This will eventually die off. 
and this patient, this gland will be just a little short gland that's getting bent over. They're, they'll do that. They'll bend over and get warped when they get inflamed. Mm -hmm. So, not to say this is perfect. There's some damage here, but look at the volume of, of glandular oh, yeah, tissue. Yeah, compared here. to mine. Compared it's, to you. Yeah. Yeah. But I can also show you patients that yeah. this looks beautiful compared to them. I got patients that have lost almost all their glands. Mm. So you're in pretty good shape, right? Okay. But I just want to contrast the difference. What I'd like you to look like here and what you look like is there. Right. You can see the difference, right? Yeah. Okay. okay.